someone's hiding there. Okay, let's have a look. Coffee, a bagel, and pepper. What? No jam. That's a violation of the Geneva Convention. And what have we here? A toilet freshener. Wasn't very smart of the Organon to provide me with this essential gem of chemical warfare. Cletus? No, wait. You're one of my clones, right? Cleverly disguised as Cletus. Oh, please. Don't tell me there's more than one of you now. <laughs> very good. You got your role as a sleazy gimmick down pat. Uh, yeah. What do you have? So, if you are me, how are they able to capture me? Same as you, I suppose. Yeah, the way they captured me was much cooler. And I've already got a plan how we can get out of here. You can spare yourself the effort. Bot, you old dirtbag, you. Nice to see you again. Hey, is that a way to greet an old buddy? Really? A rug in a prison cell? How she she can you get? It's a lousy substitute for cream cheese, but it'll have to do. <laughs> Inspired recipe. Prison food is an affront. I mean, who likes sesame? What is that supposed to be? <laughs> One guess. It's our ticket to freedom. You will eat this slightly adulterated bagel and then pretend to be sick, which should come naturally. And when they take you to sick bay, I will come forth from my hiding place and save us. Over my dead body, you will eat the bagel. And I will save us. Yeah, actually, why not? I'm kind of hungry anyway. No, wait, was that a trick? Just so you could have my food, you rotter. I'm on to you. Give me that bagel. Mmm, <laughs> I'm feeling a little... I think I'm going to... <laughs> what have you done, you idiot? You poisoned me! <laughs> Bravo! Very convincing. Didn't think you had it in you. <laughs> but uh, you better save your method acting for the guard, especially your complexion. It's, it's really good. Yoo-hoo! I feel sick. Is that supposed to be me? Who else? Why are you disguising your voice? Oh, trust me. I'm an excellent voice impersonator. What? But Oh, shush. What is it now? If you keep bothering me, I will... What the... You tow rag! What have you done to my nice rug? Off with you to sick bay, right now! Damn! Now I have to air out the cell! <laughs> that was easier than I thought. Too bad there wasn't a big chase sequence on jet skis, though. Yeah, sleeping like a baby, which is actually a good thing.
I've always loved pneumatic tube systems, even though they're not suitable for sending large amounts of bread dough. To send something through the tubes, I first need one of these handy capsules. Boom! <laughs> yeah, which is that? The Ponia doesn't look half bad from up here. I just realized that I never got the chance to say goodbye. Uh-huh. What? There's a flyer stuck in the outside wall. Gah, what pathetic construction. Whoever made this obviously had no idea how to fold a proper paper airplane. Unlike me, of course. Therapeutic ropes. The cheaper alternative. What's that supposed to mean? Is somebody trying to yank my chain? And wait a minute. What's this? There's something stuck to the tip. A capital Yerk. Huh. Now I'm going to show that unknown, nameless amateur how you do this right. Whoopsie wee! Boy, they must have some funny downdrafts around here. And then it turned out he'd come up with the idea to store his fish hooks in my jewelry box. He'd already stuck the bait on them. It was so horrible. It made me wish my ears would fall off. I can relate to that right now. Ow! What is this? A flyer? Hmm. Sure. Why not? Uh, Miss Tony! I have good news for you. I finally found the appropriate therapy for your problem. Wait a moment, I'll just write you a prescription. Oh wow, so beautiful. Hey, Tony! What? Whoa! What's up with you, babe? I thought you were doing therapy. My therapist broke it off and instead gave me a prescription for rope. Cool. You wouldn't have something to do with that, would you? <laughs> no, not me. Well, what makes you think that? Rufus! Wait a second. Threatening undertone, aggressive gleam in the eye. Hey! He did it! You're back to your old self! That was not the goal of therapy. Dad, who cares what the goal was? The main thing is that it worked, right? <laughs> Somehow I missed that sound. Ah, uh, thanks. Once is enough. Hmm. What's that? A prescription for a rope? I hung it here at eye level to keep it in the back of my mind as an option, in case you showed up again. <laughs> Can I have it? Oh, I've prayed for this for years, and you're finally gonna get yourself a rope? It must be my birthday! Aw, and I didn't bring you a cake. Not to mention 100 candles. Take the prescription and get out. I'm on my way. <laughs> nice to see you're back to your old self with the emphasis on old. Out!
I have a prescription here for a rope. Oh, may I see it? <laughs> ah, yes. I still have one of those in stock. Would you like some waterproofing spray with it? Some bridge railings can be quite damp this time of year. Ah, that's all right. Wait a second. This is just a shoelace. Well, I'm afraid your healthcare insurance care provider won't cover for a better model. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hmm. Hands off! The antidepressants are for patients who are not beyond hope. No. And? Have you found a good subject? Thousands! But we want it to be extra impressive. These things can't be rushed. Thousands. These things can't be. Hey, there's something moving there. Isn't that... <gasps> of course. That's baby Bozo in great danger. I have to tell Barry about it. Good news! I have a subject! Really? What is it? Come on, I'll show you. Oh dear. That's terribly high. Ah, uh, stop whining and keep your camera ready. Because what I'm about to do, I'm only gonna do once, unless the picture isn't any good. We'll do it again. Probably where the construction workers hang their hats. That will be easy. Children love me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That will make a terrific trap. Ta-da! Perfect. Um, Rufus, are you sure that a snare is the best option here? Of course I'm sure. Like the cowboys do it. You like cowboys, don't you? I like Cowboy Dodo from the local radio station, but I can't imagine that he would lure a baby into a snare. Because he's not a real cowboy. Just let me do this, okay? And uh, keep your camera ready. <laughs> now he's trapped. And who's smarter now? <laughs> Now, I 
just have to heroically lure baby Bozo into it. Now, I just... Smarter now. <laughs> Basking in my reflected glory, would you finally take the picture? Uh, are you sure? I can barely hold on as it is. Take the stupid picture. Uh, all right. Um, the picture. Well, that worked great. You think so? I can't even remember how it all happened. <laughs> then you missed the best part. Did I take a picture? And what a picture. Let me um, borrow this for a moment. No worries, I'm gonna take care of your baby brother while you're knocked out. No! Oh, don't panic. I'm good with children. I'm gonna teach him a few tricks. For instance, he could help me with my saw trick. <laughs> oh, come on. Baby Bozo is much shorter than you. Hey, Bozo, since you canceled your therapy, I thought of an alternative. I can be your therapist. Rufus. Come on, it's gonna be fun. I'm just gonna hold up a few flashcards. How hard can it be? Now, what do you see in this picture? All I want to do is... Ah! That's the devil. No way, that's me. Busy saving a small child in distress. Man, you're really one whoopee cushion short of a funeral. Hey, Bozo! What do you see in this picture? Leave me be. 
please, oh please. Ah. That's terrible. Why would you show me something like that? But look, it's a gorgeous butterfly. Oh man, you are seriously messed up. Everything's gone down the tubes now anyway. Cool. Hey, Bozo! What do you see in this picture? Oh, do we really have to do this? Ah! Elysium is going to crash into Deponia! We're all gonna die! Nonsense! This is Elysium! The symbol of hope! Man, you are really a few fries short of a sundae. I need another therapy session. What? Again? Oh, fine. Let's get it over with. Can we play that card game again? You mean you want to repeat the Rorschach test? All right. Why not? This time I'm going to win. I just know it. So. What do you see in this picture? Elysium crashing into Deponia. I see. You feel anxiety because of the impending apocalypse. Yes, because I'm a cowardly walrus who prefers to hide in his bed instead of assisting his friends in their cool adventures. Indeed. I think we're making real progress here. Next picture, then? What do you see here? That is terrible. Why would you show me something like that? Oh, interesting. Can you tell me why you react with so much disgust? Uh, yeah, um, no idea. Yeah, maybe it's something about complexes. Be because I have a few, or whatever. I mean, yes, yes, quite definitely. I have tons of complexes that need to be treated with drugs. It is still too soon for a final diagnosis, but we have one picture left. It's the devil. A handsome devil, I must admit. But nonetheless, it's the devil. I see. This really sounds like a very bad case. According to my analysis, you are quite right to be depressed. You are suffering from a strange persona who is making your life hell. You are in dire need of psychotropic drugs. Take whatever you need from my closet. Ha <laughs> ha, yippee! Excuse me? Huh? Oh, right, I'm, woe is me. Poor spineless wretch that I am. That's more like it. Perfect. 
If I mix the antidepressants into the soup, it'll be a lot easier to trick Bozo into taking them. Huh. Says here you should take a maximum of two tablets per day. But Bozo's big enough for two, and he's as frustrated as ten. Ah, what the heck. I'll dump them all in. Better safe than sorry. Barfing babies may be an amusing sight, but as long as he hasn't eaten anything, a naked man can't reach into his pocket. This went horribly wrong. Baby Bozo ate all the soup. How am I going to get those uppers back? Huh, I don't see any other way to get my antidepressants back. Be a good boy and say, hey. <coughs> yeah, we'll practice our spelling again later. Not in my coat. Do you hear me? Hello? Here's another nosebleed picture. Oh, the poor boy. I rescued baby Bozo! In his defense, the pony was quite rambunctious. <laughs> ah, forget it then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's all right, you old grouch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like this idea. A self-portrait as a cash box. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's all... Enough! Stop right now! Nobody needs your help, especially not in saving the world, because no one wants to live in a world where you, of all people, get to play the hero! You aren't a hero. You're a total asshole! And you're gonna kill us all! And you just don't get it, because we're all much too nice to you! Oh, Rufus! He doesn't mean it, but you do mean it! Do you want to know what we're really thinking? We're thinking, get lost! We're thinking, just drop dead! You say you want to help us, right? Fine! Then why don't you? Why don't you just keel over and die? <sighs> oh, that was, uh, wow. Suddenly, I feel great. I feel so <laughs> liberated. It's like I can take on anything now. I... Oh, uh, Rufus, are you all right? <laughs> Bozo! Oh, you old pirate face! <laughs> You're back! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, dang it. Looks like it, huh? Woohoo! So, what are we waiting for? We must get to the rebel camp. Just wait till I put on my coat. 
Oh man, I just lost it there. Perhaps it's not a bad thing after all to just let it out. I was so angry, so mean, and for the first time, completely honest. If I look at it that way, <laughs> maybe you're one of the good guys after all, huh? <laughs> There. You ready? Sure. Let's go. And you're sure that this is Rufus? Absolutely sure. Do you really think there's more of his kind running around? Right. You have me convinced. You can come in. Garla, why are you skulking around? And where are the others? They're having a general assembly. A what? How can they have a general assembly without me? Or Yanosh? Or you and Libo? We're here to guard the door. So nobody from our old gang is attending the general assembly? That's scandalous. I'll go and have a word with this so-called new general. You can't. The general is not to be disturbed. <laughs> and what happens if the Organon attacks? It won't. The Organon is retreated. <laughs> what do I have to do so you will let me in? Do you want a forged ID? Shall I mix a laxative into your food? Yeah, that would be a classic. There is one thing. I knew it! I want a bigger part. Excuse me? Well, I watched a lot of war musicals in preparation for this job, but the guy who guards the door doesn't even get to sing in the choir, and I have such an outstanding baritone. I could be the obsessed colonel. Attack! Attack! Follow my lead and whistle! My beard is all a bristle! I just sat in a thistle! Shit. <laughs> Forget it. I have. Isn't there anything else I... Uh... With the right wig, I could even play the female lead. What's keeping him? A lesson, woe. Wish he were here. I miss him so. He may be only skin and bones. His skull may be cracked. Oh, sir. Sure. <laughs> Forget it. Nothing doing. The door stays shut. sense if I haven't got the appropriate application form. Application terminal serial 17. Only approved for filling in application forms with the serial number 27 ERC. <laughs> it fits! <laughs> this doesn't make much sense if I haven't got the appropriate application form. Application for A. Medical assistance in case of job-related injuries induced by terminal maintenance work, reference number Yerk 75. B. A screwdriver, sharp-edged, to be used in terminal maintenance work, reference number Hola 55. And C. A replacement lead-type Yerk for defective application terminals, reference number Yerk 122. So good. Now, what am I going to apply for? Yerk 75. There. This is 
still not fast enough, Oppenbot. Ulysses must not get suspicious. I want to be there when he learns that the army he was going to blow up with this filthy planet is on board. And will take over Elysium under my command. Ulysses isn't stupid, Meredith. He's stupid enough to think that 11,000 Organons would just volunteer to die submissively. Yes, that is. So, when am I getting my copy of the Ascension Rose? Don't be silly, Oppenbot. You will stay here, of course. Oh, yes. Eleven thousand organized. So that's what Argus was talking about. <laughs> I never believed for a moment that he wanted to save the Polia. And now, he's got the Ascension Codes. I've got to hurry. He's already bringing his troops aboard. Another problem that I need to take care of later. Am I intruding? Rufus! I'm overjoyed to see you! You have come just in time! And who have we here? Another fellow fighter in our battle against oppression? This is Rufus. I told you about him. Wow, really? The Rufus? Now, if that isn't a good omen for our enterprise, I'm Cowboy Dodo. You may know me from the local radio. And here we have Cindy, Hottie, and Cutis. <laughs> he remembers our name. Shh. I don't want to miss a word. Okay, listen up, everyone. I'm the head honcho around here, right? So, what do you want me to do? What's the big plan? We are directly above Bailiff Argus's office. We believe that the Ascension Codes are hidden there. Therefore, we wanted to lower Cowboy Dodo on a rope so he could get his hands on them. I understand, with the usual collar. But I'm here now, so move aside and make room for me. <laughs> I like this guy. Why don't we just take a vote? I'm for Rufus. <laughs> I'm for me too. <sighs> I just don't know. No, let Cowboy Dodo do it. He's the best man for the job. He's the best man, period. And Yanosh votes for me, of course. Well, it's a draw then. But before we get into a fight over this, remember that manning the crank is also an important job. The crank? I'm not your crank ape. Forget it. I demand a new count. Someone is still missing, you know. I'll be right back. Hey, Yanosh! Hello, Rufus! What was that plan again? We are directly above Bailiff Argus's office. We believe that the Ascension Codes are hidden there. Therefore, we wanted to lower Cowboy Dodo on a rope so he could get his hands on them. I thought it was quite easy to understand, no? No comment. Where are the others? Eve by Ozers. You mean Leibold and Gyleth? They are supporting the troops that confront the Organon in town. That sounds like a veritable civil war. That's what it was. Then we set out. The situation was already escalating crazy. They've accomplished men's injured as well as exorbitant collateral damage. <laughs> Were there any, uh, you know, casualties? Yes. Thousands of casualties. <laughs> Wait, that isn't as funny as I thought. What is that twerp doing here? Twerp? Who are you calling a twerp? Cowboy Dodo is certainly not a twerp. He's a well-known pop star in these parts. They should be glad that he's supporting our troop. May I borrow your screwdriver? Of course. Just don't break it, please. Hey, when did I ever break anything that belonged to you? Just the other day you converted my deep furred friar into some shirt of cat litter books. Because of that, she thinks you were trying to tame a nurse back to him. So, how am I to deep fry my green shelly sandwiches? Uh, sorry, I, I, I don't understand. A little later, you broke my only banana picker. And my bunk bed. And my potato peeler. Yeah, okay, just, just... You know, I can't make out a word you're saying. I, it's your speech impediment, I know. See you later. Please be careful. 
Would you like to meet a true hero? You bet. So well. Oh my god, he spoke to me. Oh, he's so cute when he talks. I think I'm gonna faint. You know, I've got a fan club too. Really? So, what's your favorite Cowboy Dodo song? No, no, you've got that wrong. I don't have a Cowboy Dodo fan club. I've got fans of my own. At least one. Mine is Look Around. Really? Mine too. Hey girls, wake up. I'm talking to you. Look at me. That's right. Look at me is pretty cool too. Oh. No. Nah, it's not worth the effort. They wouldn't know a true hero if he were a one-man band marching up their butt. Nah, it's not. They wouldn't know it. Yeah, there's no need for you to play the hero here. That role is taken, you know? But if it's any comfort to you, the part of the lovable chump is currently available. Just let Yana show you the ropes. He knows how to walk, talk, act, stand, and sit like a chump. You mean shit like a chump? I said chump, not jokester. Cracking jokes is my job. Uh, no, nope. uh, screw down tight. It's impossible to open that pipeline without the right tool. Now that's interesting. The Organon's pneumatic tube system seems to run through here. Maybe I can open this with the screwdriver. so hard to bend. I hope it won't be long before they send something. Ouch. Oh, great. So much for the screwdriver. Well, at least I got a capsule out of it. Let's see what the Organon has written. Attention all ranks. Be careful around the open ends of the pneumatic tubes. <laughs> Those idiots. Ugh. It's impossible. Hey, wait a minute. What was that all about, huh? Are you serious about taking me on? In case you still don't get it, this is my show. Cowboy Dodo saves the world. Yeah, right, and they're giving away nail clippers and pollution. I founded the Resistance. I uncovered the plans of the Organon, and I will be the one who saves the world. <laughs> I knew it! This is all about your ego, isn't it? Yeah, my ego is determined to save the world. Oh, yeah? Then why do you refuse to turn the crank? Because... I, I, um, uh, You'd better make up your mind, buddy. If you want the world to be saved, then come on back in and let me save the world. But if you're only doing this to look like a hero, then we got a problem. I have a certain image to uphold, you know, and I'm not about to let some local hick peel across up my swill. We'll see about that. Is that supposed to be a threat? <laughs> Just look at you, you scrawny wimp. I could take on two of you hands down. Is that so? In that case, we should try it out. Wait here. Don't go away. I have nothing more to tell him, just this. Farewell, you dunderhead. Huh, nothing. I guess the door only opens for the Organon. Exciting! Wow! That went fast. We hereby inform you that your application for medical help has been approved. Hey, cool! I bet they'll be sending me to sick bay now. Says here, for this category of injury, 
it will not be necessary for you to report to sickbay. Oh, a medic is already on his way to your location. Uh-oh. Run, Rufus! Hey, you! Stop! So heroic cowboy Dodo gets along with the organizer. <laughs> and then I knocked him out with a well aimed karate chop. Wow. Ah, Rufus. We've got a new problem. Unfortunately, I had to use our rope to tie up the organ on. He popped up all of a sudden, and I was forced to subdue him. Anyone could have done that. Tell me, um, are you part of the medical staff? I think I feel an idea coming on. Hold still. <laughs> it worked. Usually, I drop all the glasses. So, are you cold? Yeah. Yeah, I see. So, yeah. Yeah. Too bad I had to subdue this organon. Where are we gonna get a new rope now? Well, uh, maybe one will fall into our laps if we just keep sitting here. But Rufus, you're not trying to avoid work, are you? Or do you expect me to see about the rope as well? Yeah. Worth the effort. They would know it. Hey, Yana. Hello, Roof. See you later. Removing a tapeworm is, is uh, child's play for me. I mean, just how hard can it be? Oh, uh, uh, whatever you say. Uh, your coat is hanging over there, as usual. Uh, I'll go and get the dissecting kit and the bone saw. <laughs> yeah, I... Now, what was I about to do? Uh, uh, surgically remove the tapeworm? Ah, yes. Piece of cake. I am a sturgeon, after all. <laughs> A surgeon, you mean? Uh, yeah, that too. Ha, ha, ha. 
Got it. Well, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Won't you get to put him back together? Well, what do you mean? D do I have to? I think it would be beneficial to the patient. Oh, well, all right, fine. Um, so where does the, uh, the last part go? Ah, well, who cares? It can't have been that important. <laughs> okay, all done. Close him up. Now, 
That went really well. Don't you think so? I'm about to be sick. Oh, stop fetching. After all, I saved your life. And I even got myself a keepsake. Here. Oh, yuck. What's that supposed to be? Your tapeworm. What else? You know, you should pay a little more attention to what you stuff your face with. But never mind. We've got more important things to do. I found the rebels, and I need your help. Come on. What a nice souvenir. I'll ask Gold if we can hang it over our bed on Elysium. has turned. Now we can take another vote about who's going to get the code. I vote for me. And I for me. What? No. Hey. Well, in that case, it looks like I won the vote. You see, I'm going to vote for your doppelganger, too. So it's three to two to two. No, 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 no. I need to do this. You wanted another vote, so we took one. Now all we need is rope. And then we can start. So good. Now, what am I going to apply for? Hola, 55. There. Exciting! Wow! That went fast. <laughs> yes! That's actually the screwdriver I ordered for myself. Eh. Based on the description in the application form, I had assumed it would be a little bigger. That's the last time I order anything from those frauds. supposed to vote for me. And why aren't you voting for me? After all, we're identical, right? So it totally doesn't matter which one of us gets the codes, just as long as it isn't that pompous doofus. <laughs> I agree. We must get rid of him somehow. I'll think of something. I've got an idea. Are you about to infect me with another tapeworm? Much better. All you need to do is hold open the pneumatic tube over there with his screwdriver. And what good will that do? Take a good look. He's sitting right in the line of fire. As soon as the next capsule comes down the tube, then... Blemo! Hmm, that might even work. But only if the capsule comes before my arms fall off. I'll see to that. I'll be right back.
I wanted to get the Ascension Code. And so you will. I mean, the other you. The vote was unanimous. Congratulations. But how could that happen? You doppelganger saved Cowboy Dota's life. Like, for real. He did what? A pneumatic tube capsule hit me in the head and I almost fell off the tower. Your doppelganger didn't hesitate to catch him. He's a true you were completely right, Rufus. I need to apologize. To think that I was about to cause you bodily harm just so I could be the one who saves the world. Please, forgive me. And yeah, no hard feelings. Right. She, she's all sorted out, Jim. All the are still missing now is a rain. Hey, you set that up like a pro. Thanks. I'm glad that you're such a good loser. Yeah, what was that? You're calling me a loser? There, there. The best man for the job won the vote. If we knew it from that angle, we're all winners. Oh. I think I found some kind of rope. The tapeworm? Forget it. Perhaps this cloud would actually um, sail down a tapeworm. But I must have a real rope. Wouldn't you consider making an exception? So, our whole planet will not be both Schmidt's region so forth. No. I am the one who has to go down there. So the least he can do is get me a decent rope. Don't you agree? Friends, friends. Do we really have to keep fighting about these ego issues? If there's one thing I've learned today... Oh, please. Not another motivational speech. I'll do it. Let me see. I think I need to get it down from here somehow. Too bad these corner pieces can't be freely moved. They rotate like the others. But only as long as they're not blocked. Ah, never mind. It'll work somehow.
Dead hot witch, you really can't do anything right, can you? But it worked, so don't get your panties in a knot. You know, you almost sound like Cletus. That's because I am Cletus! Huh? Yes, surprise! Anyone with an intellect higher than that of a microbe would have noticed at once, but not you. You dim-witted, fat-headed, ugh, never mind. Even though the time I spent with you was sheer torture, I've got the Ascension Code. And now, I can enter the high boat instead of Argus. Au revoir, mon enemy. Wow, so mean. What a nasty character. As soon as I figure out what that means, I'll let him have it. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, ha, 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 ha. What? Oh. <laughs> you had it coming, dirtbag. But funny as that may be, I think we should get out of here fast, Yanosh. Uh, Yanosh? are infested with rebels. Would anyone care to explain? I expected as much. Line up in front of the cell, now! I have nothing more to tell him, just this. Farewell, you dunderhead!
five rebels and that Cletus chap. Who assumes responsibility for this outrageous blunder? Open boss. Me, bailiff? But I was with you the entire time, helping you with the boarding of the high boat. Did I hear you contradict me? For that, you are hereby assigned to lugging crates. Dismissed. But... I said dismissed! Yes, bailiff. Right. Anyone else? Come on. Don't be shy. Which one of you is responsible? I assume full responsibility, Bailiff. I insist that you send me off to lug crates as well. What do you know? An Organon with courage. You should all take a leaf out of his book. Go ahead, soldier. Step forward. As a reward, we will now sing the Organon hymn to our brave comrade before we ceremoniously toss him down from the tower. Destination of What do you think? The Organon's attacking! Holy moly! Nibold! What? The Organon's attacking! For real? Yeah, man! Oh, shit! Quick! Man the guns! Huh? Doc? What happened here? The place looks... Black. The deepest black. Like the color of... Oh, never mind. Say, have you been drinking? Leave him be. Tony? So, you're in command here now? Not really. Well, who then? That would be me. Dad? I mean, Seagull? That's General Seagull to me. How come you look like that? I was shot and fell into the Rust Red Sea. Then a shark came and clamped onto my leg. Luckily, a whale came and ate the shark. And me as well. I fought the shark in the whale's belly until the whale swallowed a poisonous giant octopus. And then the whale vomited up the octopus, the shark, and me into the middle of the Sea of Shards. <laughs> well, that explains your smell, but not why you're a general. Your father has a plan, Rufus. Listen to him. Unlike everything you have tried so far, it's going to work. Huh, I can barely contain my curiosity. We're going to blast Elysium out of the sky. <laughs> I'm bored already. You see, what? What? Wait a minute. You want to do what? No, you, you can't do that. Oh, yes, I can. Doc constructed this cannon here, and Tony's task force acquired an Organon Planet Destroyer. I mean, you mustn't. You can't. They don't even know we exist. And you want to let them know before they blow us to pieces? That was the plan, yes. So what are you doing here, then? Well, it's, it's complicated. Uh, right now, I'm not only here, but I'm also saving goal at the same time, while I also delay the last high boat until we're on board. It's true. He cloned himself. Oh, great. As if we didn't have enough problems. You're a monster. I'm not a monster, Rufus. I have a proposal. Go on. 
astound us all with your rescue operation. But... No, no, it's all right, Tony. Let Rufus try and fail one more time. When the last high boat leaves without goal, there'll still be time to blow up Elysium. What do you say, Rufus? Do you have enough faith in yourself to agree to my proposal? Ha! You can bet on it. What the... The rebels are attacking us! Quick, men! Take up your positions! <laughs> That's it. A great opportunity to make myself scarce. But first, to get rid of these duds. Oh, that must have been the last crate. The goods transporter to the high boat can be switched off for now. And now I'm going to watch Cowboy Dodo for a while. Better not get his attention. He may be a useless trash can, but he's a useless trash can in the service of the Organon. He'd rat me out to Argus right away. Hoppenbot switched off the transporter. If only there were a way to reactivate it. Hoppenbot switched off the transporter. Looks like a. Oppenbot forgot this barrel. That's probably because the label with the destination is missing. Anybody there? Hello! Nah, probably just my imagination. Oh, rats. Nobody there. I wonder where the other two me's wound up. Huh? What was that? Anybody there? Hello! Nah, probably just... Oh, rap. I could use a little help here. I don't know, Lucas. I think Seagull has a point. Doc, come to your senses. I'm sorry, Rufus. Seagull is right. This is our last chance. What for? She won't listen to me anyway. She never had any confidence in me.
And where is the promised rescue at the last second? Oh, keep your shirt on. There's still time. You're trembling. I'm just cold. I like this idea. A self-portrait as a cash box. <laughs> a self-portrait. the money. The five stop, please. No. No, I mean, I have enough money to buy the nucleic acid. Impossible. Six slotties. Well, I'll be. I didn't think that much money actually existed. Now I just have to get it out. Have fun. Where's gold? Can you spell us out? Already on the way. Well, at least nothing happened to the rest of you. But Usti! Excuse me, who? <laughs> I've never heard the name Usti before. Besides, I'd remember if there'd been a third brat. Believe me, you're all here. You and, uh, you know, who's it there? Uh, nah, it doesn't matter anyway. Much more important is, where is gold? In the tunnel back there? Then she can't be far. Okay, you stay here with, uh, with, uh, you stay here. Don't eat it to none. It's alone with an A. <laughs> Don't move! I'm coming down to save you! Yoo-hoo! Huh? Rufus? What are you doing down there? What do you think? I'm doing all the work. Ah, don't make me laugh. Yeah, and? Have you been able to stop Argus? I'm working on it. And you? Have you succeeded in making gold big again? Hey, I'm almost there. Well, give a holler if you need anything. From you, dream on. Yeah, maybe the other way around. Hold on, I'll save you.
talent of Ponia did she get down there? <laughs>